Hybrid simulation is a structural testing technique that combines physical testing and computer modeling, offering a more efficient and affordable way to examine how structural systems respond to realistic dynamic loading. Rather than test a complete structure on a large-scale physical test rig, hybrid simulation instead suggests modeling the complete structure while physically testing only a portion. For example, let's take a look at this three-story parking ramp structure. Testing the complete structure in a lab setting is nearly impossible, but through the use of hybrid simulation techniques, a single portion can be isolated and then tested in a laboratory while a computer model is used to simulate the remaining portions of the structure. In quasi-static hybrid simulation, a recorded dynamic event, such as an earthquake time history profile, is used as a step-by-step -step command waveform. In each time step, the computational substructure is first analyzed by solving the associated equations of motion. Calculated displacements at the interfaces are then imposed on the physical substructure using actuators. Finally, the interface forces are measured and fed back to the computational substructure to calculate the evolution of the next time step displacement responses. This process is repeated for the entire time history profile. For this demonstration, we will show a basic two actuator biaxial test rig. We are testing on a steel rod, which could represent a beam or column in a larger structure. This test features MTS model 242 actuators and 252 servo valves, which give a maximum force of 4.5 kN and a maximum displacement of 150 mm. The same test procedure is applicable to larger scale structural testing with much higher actuator capacities that MTS offers. An MTS flex test controller and test PC are being used to control both actuators simultaneously. MTS 793 controller software is used to drive commands and provide control feedback in displacement, load, or acceleration control. In this example, we use open C's for the finite element modeling of the computational substructure. This is an open source program developed by the University of California, Berkeley. Berkeley also developed OpenFresco, which is a middleware program between the computational modeling domain and the physical testing domain. The final software piece is the MTS Computer Simulation Interface, known as CSI for short. CSI is a middleware program that is used to communicate data and commands from the MTS 793 control software to OpenFresco. The communication between OpenSeas and MTS 793 software is repeated for each time step in the command waveform. Installed systems can be modified to run alternatives to OpenSeas, which is our FEA modeler, including Abacus, MATLAB Simulink, LSDyna, and more. In this demonstration, you will learn how to set up a structural model, input an earthquake time history profile, run the physical MTS test rig, and analyze the data. Let's start by opening the OpenSys Navigator software. Here we have a one by one by one meter frame structure that was fully defined earlier. OpenSys allows you to create 2D or 3D structures with any number of elements and boundary conditions. If we review our model here and select Define, we can see a number of options. For example, the material properties here, the section properties, or you can define different elements here. Once our computational model is created, we need to define the experimental element. This is what we are defining as our physical substructure in the test rig, labeled as experimental element 01. Note, you can also have multiple experiment element, but in our, in our example here, we have single column being tested, and the rest of structure components are set up as computational elements. To review a number of functionalities, we can take a look at the load pattern and external controller. For seismic applications, we are going to load the earthquake time histories in both X and Y directions. Next, we need to specify the experimental control method. In this case, 
we are using M XP, uh, MTS CSI as our control method, which will link the control channels between the computational elements in OpenSeas and the actual MTS test rig. Next, we will launch the MTS computer simulation configurator, which is also called CSI software, and input our particular test information. We are only testing at one point, so we will define one control point. The point has two degree freedom, the x-axis and the y-axis. Finally, we have four total feedback signals, the displacement and load for each axis. Once this information is complete, OpenFresco and MTS793 can correctly communicate and run our test. To start the test, we must first go into our MTS793 software and uh, turn on the hydraulic power unit, then the hydraulic service manifold. We will also bring the actuators back to zero if they are not already there. Finally, we can set up the scope to view the channels we are interested during the testing. Now that our supporting programs are ready and the hydraulic power is on, we can go back into OpenSeas and run the hybrid simulation. You can click the red Run OpenSeas button and the computational model we loaded earlier will now be analyzed and in the same time drive our actuators. Once we acknowledge the initialization of the program, let's bring out these scopes. So now you can see on the scope the plot of the test data. Since this is a quasi-static test, the 30 second time history analysis will run for about 150 seconds. You can choose to perform time test faster or slower depending on your test setup and actuator capability. Here we can see the, the live responses for the X and Y displacement versus time, and also the load versus displacement hysteresis. Once the test has completed, we can run some post-process analysis tools in OpenSeas. First, we will need to load the test results by clicking the red green button called Load OpenSeas Results. After we load the results, the analysis tool becomes enabled, so we can click the animation button to bring out the window. We will scale the response magnitude by a factor of five to make it more noticeable. Then we can start to play the animation. While the animation is playing, we can also bring out a scope to show the X and Y displacement response from the analysis. MTS Systems is a leader in structural and seismic testing, offering turnkey solutions for hybrid simulation tests. As demonstrated during this video, MTS Proprietary 793 and CSI software interact seamlessly with various advanced modeling software packages such as OpenSeas. MTS has expert applications expertise and is well connected with top hybrid simulation developers such as University of California, Berkeley, Swinburne University in Australia, the National Center for Research on Earthquake Engineering, NCRI, in Taiwan, and many more. Introductory packages are available from MTS, and even more advanced testing can be done with larger test frames and additional MTS actuators. For more information, please contact your local MTS representative.